Hey there, what's up everybody? In this video, we're gonna be removing this ceiling fan. And also, I'm gonna show you, if you are interested, a do-it-yourself way on how you can shorten up your down rod right there. You can see this particular ceiling fan extends a little too far down. We just put up some bunk beds for the kiddos, and we've got, obviously, a dangerous situation here. So the option is to either get rid of this thing or to shorten up the down rod. Now, obviously, since we're dealing with electricity here, we are going to be turning off the breaker. That's obviously really important, and we'll be checking to make sure that the power is indeed off. Now, hire an, a licensed electrician if you are uncomfortable or don't know how to do this. But uh, basically, what we're going to be doing here is removing this first bit by bit. Now, you don't necessarily have to take everything off, but my understanding and my experience here is if you take it off from the base where it actually connects to the um, to the ceiling and you unwire everything, you're going to be left with a very awkward ceiling fan with not a lot of good places to put it. It'll also be a little heavier and it'll tilt really easily. So what we're going to do is actually take everything off first, including the glass bowl if your fan has one. Um, it's pretty heavy. You just saw me do that. And so you can rewind if you need to see how to do that. And we're basically going to start unscrewing some different points and popping some things off as much as we can. Now, there we go. This particular piece is going to slide off or slide down. There we go. Bear with me. I've got one hand here, right? Now you could potentially keep this piece on if you wanted to um, to not connect it there. You could disconnect the, that wire harness in there and just take that all the way down, or you can leave the wire harness on. No problem. Next up, we'll unscrew the, the ceiling fan from the actual end of the down rod. So you see me do this right here. There's a little pin and several little tight uh, screws that you can loosen up. Now those screws don't have to come all the way out. They just loosen up. Obviously you can take them out and then we will unscrew that and you could see it kind of hanging there. Okay, just to give you some idea of the anatomy of this. Now the down rod right here and the, the entire weight of the ceiling fan rests on this little bracket. Can you see that bracket right there? The big thick bracket. It's a, like a circle. Well, I just took that ceiling fan out and I'm bearing the entire weight of the ceiling fan with my left hand now with my camera in my right. So I had to undo those, um, those wires. And so that's pretty simple to do. And now we have the entire ceiling fan removed. So I'm going to take the down rod off and separate that here and unscrew this little half ball thing that hooked up into that bracket earlier. And we're gonna actually remove the little pin from inside. Because my goal here is I want the down rod like this exposed. Now, why can I do this? Well, at this point, you can either replace the down rod and put everything back together, or you can actually take your hacksaw and cut it down to size. So check the manufacturer's recommended lengths. They'll sell specific down rods, six inch, three and a half inch, 12 inch, 18 inch, or whatnot. And you can cut that down to size. Do not cut the threaded end. Instead, cut this end up here. You can see that bare end with the, it's got two holes in that, that little pin slid through. So you'll have to cut it down to size and then you can actually drill two new holes fresh. So a, definitely a do-it-yourself job. Um, in this particular case, since I'm dealing with kiddos and bunk beds and fans, I'm just gonna replace it with a ceiling, a flush mount ceiling light like this one. And I'll do a separate video on how you can install this. But that is basically how you take down a ceiling fan like that, or at the very least, shorten up that down rod in a do-it-yourself way. Again, you can buy your own if you're not in a big hurry. Um, or you can cut it down to size. Now be careful, you might void your manufacturer's warranty if you do indeed do that, I have no idea. But a nice little trick if you are in a pinch.